Hello and welcome to another AIC video. We have another laptop from Lenovo in for review. Typically when I get a laptop from Lenovo, I get what they have available for me to review. I typically don't request specific systems just because I'm always looking for something new to look at. Uh, this time though, I did go ahead and request a very specific system, a little bit for selfish reasons. Uh, this is a Lenovo ThinkBook uh, 14 Gen 8. I have the sticker there showing you that it's the 14 Gen 8. And I got this because my work laptop is due for replacement and typically we buy Dells, uh, fairly inexpensive Dells. And I'm hoping that one of these fits in the budget so that I can go with a Lenovo laptop versus the Dells that they're currently offering. So I wanted something that could do the job, but was more budget oriented that I knew I would probably like better than what I'd be getting. And so this is for me to uh, take a look at and see if it is what I possibly would want. So as I always do, you open the box and then we open the system. Uh, I've already opened the box, obviously, and I've already unscrewed the system and taken the back cover off. It was very easy to do. We have five captive screws two on the sides and three along the back edge. We have four non-captive screws here along the front edge. All those screws are the same size over here. And so you don't have to worry about mixing up screws as the ones that are removed are all the same size and the rest are captive. Taking a look on the inside, I'm actually quite impressed with this system at initial glances. Obviously, I haven't even powered this on yet. Uh, just took a look at what we have here. So first things first, we have one M.2 slot and we have a second M.2 slot. So you can have two storage devices in here. So you can have your OS drive and then you can have uh, all your other data on here. I tend to save a lot of data from work on my system. So we uh, uh, having additional storage for me personally, it would actually be pretty nice. Next thing we have, we lift this flap up. We have one, we keep going. We have two upgradable RAM slots. So you could have up to, I think 64 gigs of uh, storage of RAM in here, excuse me. And so uh, it is just DDR5, nothing special there. Also it has Wi-Fi 6E, but the, again, it is an upgradable uh, Wi-Fi card there, which is really nice because you can upgrade it. My home network here is Wi-Fi 7 and I do notice a difference in signal uh, strength through my house with the Wi-Fi 7 with my systems that uh, support that which currently is uh, one. Um, it is faster and more reliable through my house. We have two heat pipes going into a fairly decent sized heat sink with a pr pretty big fan. Uh, I'm surprised at the size of the battery. I would think that this would include either a slightly bigger battery since obviously there's the space for it or give me the option to upgrade the battery. I wonder if there is an upgrade option for this battery that did not show up online. I did look and you cannot from the factory have a larger battery than this per the website. So that's something that I would definitely look into uh, if you're looking for this system, if you want a bigger battery, because it looks like there is the space for it. You have this big void here and there's nothing else that would go here. There's even a screw point uh or no that's for the lid so i don't know it seems like you could have another cell here uh cmos battery is easily uh, replaceable overall a fairly upgradable fairly manageable laptop uh quite happy with this obviously with it being a usb-c charger uh, you cannot upgrade or replace the the charger without soldering on the system board i'd love to see manufacturers come out with either a daughter board or a cable of some kind so that can be easily replaced because that is more most likely going to damage first is your charging port especially with USB-C it's such a small connector easily broken in my opinion so that's something I'd like to see let me go ahead and put the cover back on and we'll flip around just take a look at ports and things like that and then we will do a separate video with uh, where we'll do actual testing on the system all right, so we have the cover back on, just going over ports. This is the right side laptop. With the Kensington lock, we have a ethernet port, which I like to see. USB-A, a, a full-size SD card reader, which again, nice to see. 
have a microphone back jack uh usb c that's a thunderbolt i believe it's thunderbolt 4 hdmi another always on usb type a and your charging usb uh, port so we flip her over and open her up we do have the camera just touch we do have the 16 by 10 19 20 by 1200 display I haven't turned on, so I don't know what it looks like yet. We'll cover that in another video. We have a fairly decent size trackpad. Initial impressions of the keyboard, pretty good. In the past, these have had very uh, idea pad-esque keyboards. This one does feel pretty good. Uh, it doesn't feel quite as cheap as I've seen on other idea pads. Of course, I haven't had one of those in a while, and maybe they've improved the keyboard, and this is still an, uh, an idea pad keyboard. Looks like we did get the backlit model. We closed again, look at the top. This is, as all think books have looked, uh, pretty attractive. It is a metal top, aluminum, I believe. And you kind of have this matte and the more glossy with the think book icon on there. Uh, this is a very good design. They've used it for as long as I know that they've done think books pretty much. Uh, overall, it's a fairly, smart looking laptop it has pretty good functionality uh pretty good i shouldn't say functionality because i don't know yet it has pretty good upgradability and re repairability uh, overall very classic design oh, not quite one finger open it does bump out here a little bit it doesn't have the big bump that the newer thinkpads have for the for the camera so that some people might like that it does not have the track point, which I know some people will revolt over, uh, but it's not a ThinkPad. It is a ThinkBook. Uh, let me go grab my other one. We'll just do a quick side-by-side -side comparison of the difference between the two, how they look a little bit. All right. So on the left, we have my old ThinkBook 14 and the new one. You can see the differences. Overall, they're fairly similar in size. The new one is sitting a little bit higher off the desk because it does have thicker feet than the old one does there but without that they're about roughly the same size you can see that the screen on the new one on the gen 8 is a taller screen you get a thicker bezel here down at the bottom uh but overall surprisingly the overall design is very similar the keyboard has a very similar layout um, i do like the slightly larger number keys versus this older style uh, I, I've always felt that the squished up and down arrows have always been very frustrating to me. See, these keys have a much shorter throw than these do, and these definitely feel better. These feel like a big step up from the old one. So we'll definitely do some typing testing on here so and some performance testing. But let me know what, you're, what you want to see. I know what I'm going to be testing. I'm going to throw some additional RAM in here, and we'll be testing... Uh, some performance benchmarks and things like that to see what we have uh, with this system but uh, definitely want to know what you're looking for in a, in a system so go ahead and leave that comment down below I'll do my best to answer those uh, and look forward to the follow-up video where we actually uh, test this system out thank you for watching and i hope you have an amazing day